New Year's resolution. Millions of you have a list, and millions of you don't execute. Let's face it, it's January 1st, you go to the gym, you see millions of people hitting it up, working out, two weeks, three weeks. By the fourth week, what happens? It drops to the ceiling. Millions of you want to strive for good health, promotion, and relationships. So let's start off with number one, health, which is the key factor in any success in life. Now most of you say to yourself, I want to lose 20 pounds by April, May. And most of you say, I want to lose about 20% body fat. But I want you to change your mindset for a moment and forget about how much weight you want to lose and say, I want to basically strive for healthy cooking, healthy living. And once you do that, you're going to automatically see the weight loss desiccate as, as we go along the striving. So what I say to you is, let's start off with healthy cooking. Let's start off with cooking some broccoli, some, some carrots, and some greens. Because let's face it, most of you don't have time to work out or go to the gym. But once you implement some of these veggies, talking about these, these broccoli, these celery, these greens, you're going to see automatically reduction in weight. And let's, let's implement some more things. Let's talk about water consumption in, in a way. Let's, let's focus on eight glass of water a day. For, for those of you that not, cannot at least hit the gym or work out, I think that will also help you. And let's dedicate a little bit of walking uh, on your lunch break as well. Now, if you do this on a monthly basis, daily basis, you're gonna see a lot of discipline. And once you see the discipline, you're gonna hit more the gym, you're gonna work out more casually, and you're gonna see the reduction in a flash take. Now, as far as me is concerned, I have implemented some broccoli, some veggies in my daily diet. And I've noticed I have more energy and more discipline to working out. And plus, I noticed a little bit of reduction in my weight. Number two, let's talk about promotion. Most of you are striving to go to the next level. But what happens, most of your communication skills lack a lot. You're not good at pronouncing things, you're not good at enunciating things, and your vocabulary is really, really low. And then you ask yourself, why am I not able to get that manager position? Why am I not able to get that lead position? Or whatever position. So let's work on ourselves. So the way we're going to work on ourselves for this year is, I'm going to basically become a better effective communicator. All right? Forget about the promotion for once. All right? So as you become a better effective communicator, you have to read at least a book a month. So promise yourself, I'm going to read at least two pages a day. All right? Number two is how do you enunciate, how do you pronounce these words properly? So there's something called YouTube, which all of you know, and karaoke definitely helps. So what I suggest you do is start karaoke at your own house. Once you actually sing the words, the lyrics, you're going to hear your voice, and you're going to be able to enunciate some words that you never actually enunciated ever in your life. Now, by doing this, it's basically going to improve your vocabulary skills. You're going to be more comfortable talking to people, and you're going to be able to strive for the next level. Once you, when people see this, and once you actually strive yourself to, to this better effective communicator, you can go up to your boss, you can go up to your manager and say, and basically say that you want to strive for this particular position. And automatically, once you change your momentum, your way of speech, you're pretty much going to get that job or that career you're striving for. Number three, relationships. A lot of us are trying to find the love of our life. Let's, let's face it. So, what do you do to actually break the barriers? What do you do to break the ice? A lot of you are just waiting for the right opportunity to hit you. But guess what? It's not going to happen. Okay? God is not going to drop a woman or a guy to your life and you're going to be successful in that way. Of course, fate does play a factor in your, in your life, but however, you need to actually go out there. The way you're going to go out there is you're going to engage with two people a week. That's only easy. And the way you're going to engage with people is just basically just compliment them. When you see a beautiful girl, go say, you know, your, your hair is very nice looking. It's the color of it. It really brings out the beauty in you. Or that's a nice purse you got there or glasses you got there. And the way you're going to engage in these people is while you're doing your errands. Why are you going to Starbucks? You're meet, seeing the clerk. Why are you going to your shopping or Macy's or Walmart? Wherever it is, you're going to meet people that are working in those facilities. And basically, I just want you to 
compliment them and ask for their opinion about the product you're actually purchasing. Now once you do this, you're going to actually grow the more confidence in you and when the opportunity hits you, you're not going to strike to the bottom and give up. You're pretty much going to have this confidence and you're going to be able to perceive yourself as the gentleman you are. So you're probably asking yourself, what if I already am in a relationship? I already have the wife that I want, but the relationship is not striving. So let's say, for example, it's not striving, it's not going anywhere. How about you guys start from scratch? How about you go up to her and tell her that I don't think it's not working the way it's supposed to be, but how about we start from scratch and let's build this relationship and let's see where it goes, how we start from the beginning. Now, also the key factors I do recommend. Now, three things I want to let you know that's going to actually bother you and going to bring all this negativity to you and you're not going to be able to strive to what you want. For one, the news, right? A lot of you guys watching is bringing that negativity to you, whether it's people from the White House, from D.C., you name it. So I want you to eliminate those type of people, whether it's celebrities, whether there's people in the politics, and take them out, out of your scope for a moment because definitely they're going to drive you down and you're not going to be able to accomplish what you're supposed to accomplish. So let's, let's tune them out to maybe once a week instead of a, a daily news briefing. So by doing this, you're going to get rid of all this negativity and you're going to strive to become a better communicator. You're going to strive to become better in your health and you're going to strive to become better in your relationship. And the key to success when you get all this negativity is basically a little bit of meditation and classical music. That definitely is going to help you strive to become better for the new 2017. And that's about it for right now. And for you guys have any tips or comments or you want to write to me at the bottom, what are your commitment for the New Year's? Go ahead and do so now and I'll get back to you. And just remember, if nobody loves you, Manny V always love you. Thank you guys and inspire your minds.